let us start with the creation of a new project. If you press the Control, Option, and Command keys simultaneously in a project window, the most important keyboard shortcuts supported by QuickPlan are displayed. Click the plus buttons or press the plus key to add new tasks. Enter the tasks to be created in order and indent them by inserting a space at the beginning of the task names. There is a way to make task creation especially efficient. Create a task with a long duration and, while holding down the option key, click to split the task and then customize it to your needs. Indent tasks using the context menu or keyboard shortcuts to organize tasks into groups in a tree structure. Click on a row and move the mouse up and down while pressing the command key to change the order of tasks within a task group or between task groups. When you click on the WBS column, you do not have to press the command key at the same time. To select a task, click on a row in the list view or on a taskbar in the Gantt chart. You can double-click on an empty space in the Gantt chart and the task in the clicked row will be selected. You can also select tasks above and below by pressing the up and down buttons. If a task is not visible in the Gantt chart and you select it, QuickPlan scrolls the Gantt chart to make it visible. If you double-click on a task bar in the Gantt chart or on the WBS column in the list, you can edit the clicked task in the property editor. Of course, there are keyboard shortcuts, a toolbar button, and context menus to show and hide the property editor. Intuitively, you can update task date and duration in the Gantt chart with mouse gestures and move all tasks in a task group together. Use keyboard shortcuts to efficiently move the selected task and change the duration directly. You can also edit date and duration in the property editor. Editing task date and duration in list view is similar to editing in Excel, direct input and copy and paste. Similarly, we can edit other task properties in the list and property editors using mouse operations, context menus, and keyboard shortcuts. I strongly recommend that you read the keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet, the app menu, and the online user guide to become more productive. You can turn a task into a milestone, or vice versa. And you can convert a task group into a sub-project, or vice versa. Sub-projects appear as individual tasks within the main project. Press the command and return keys simultaneously to open the selected subproject in another window. Changes in the subprojects are reflected in the main project at the same time. Click to expand or collapse a task group. When a task group is selected, you can expand and collapse it using the keyboard shortcuts. You can also expand or collapse all task groups at once by using the keyboard shortcuts presented in the video. You can customize the Gantt chart display to show tasks at different scales of the timeline by using keyboard shortcuts or toolbar buttons. There are three ways to link tasks. The most intuitive way is via mouse gestures. Click the link button on the toolbar to enter the task linking state. The app will guide you through linking and unlinking tasks. Click the link button again to return to the normal state. 
Another way is even more efficient. Press the function key and click on the tasks to link or unlink them. And you can edit the link in the cells of the list. Tasks are organized in a tree structure. Quick Plan supports displaying tasks in a tree structure and displaying subtasks in a list structure. Quick Plan supports displaying the critical path in the tree view. In list mode, Quick Plan supports sorting tasks by date and filtering by resources. The app provides some predefined list views for your convenience. Click the project name in the toolbar to edit the project properties. Quick Plan supports changing the start date for the entire project. And it's easy to customize the project calendar by simply clicking on a day to switch between work and non-work. In the timeline, the context menu makes switching easy. Quick Plan supports the creation of project members by importing contacts. And you can save a project member in a file and later import it into another project. Also, you can copy project members to multiple projects by simply dragging them. You can change the column title directly in the list. Show and hide the columns. And change the order of the columns. Change the column width. More customization options can be found in the context menus in the list, Gantt chart and timeline. In the app settings, there is a central place where you can customize the app to your needs. You can create a new project by filtering the tasks by project member. The newly created project will then contain only the tasks assigned to the selected members. And you can create a new project from a project by a specific data range, with the option to truncate or not truncate the tasks. You can also export a task group to a new project. And select the visible tasks in a new project when you are in list view mode. Quick Plan provides extensive PDF export customization options that give you more control when printing and reporting.
You can also export the project to CSV and image files. QuickPlan is a document-based app. The projects are stored in files at the place you specified when saving. For business privacy, your projects are not stored on our server. The welcome window lists the project files recently opened. You can find the files in Finder. QuickPlan supports to sync projects files and file-based team collaboration via iCloud Drive and other third-party cloud storage. Please check the details online. Export a project to the MS project format in XML. In Windows PC, open the XML file created with QuickPlan as a new project. On Windows PC, open a MS project file and save it as an XML file. On Mac, open the XML file you created with MS Project with QuickPlan to create a new project. QuickPlan also supports integration with MindMap via an OPML file and integration with our WBS app. Details can be found online.